can remember when I was doing all my research into Jamaican folklore. I said to, to, to one the old gentleman I'm talking to, you know, and I said to him, um, what, what you call all the songs? He says, every Jamaica folk song is a mentor. Every Jamaica folk song is a mentor. We sing mentor. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is a short presentation about folk or mento music of Jamaica. In this video, you will learn about the music that started it all. From ska, rock steady to reggae, and dub to reggae dance hall. All these Jamaican music genre was birthed from folk music. But before we start, I am going to ask you to subscribe and put the notification on all, and also smash that like button, because it will help this channel grow. Mento or folk, popular in the 1940s and 1950s, is a style of Jamaican music that predates and has greatly influenced ska music to reggae dancehall music. Mento is a fusion of African and European rhythms. Mento typically features acoustic instruments, such as an acoustic guitar, bamboo flute, banjo, a bamboo sax, and the rumba box, which is a large box-shaped instrument that can be sat on while played. In the 1950s, Jamaica had some major Mento folk-style recording artists, which includes Jamaican icons like Louise Bennett Coverley, or Miss Lou, as she is affectionately called, Harry Belafonte, whose wildly popular hits including Day O or the Banana Boat Song and Jamaica Farewell, Count Lasher, Harold Richardson, and many more. Here are some fun facts about the rich culture of Jamaica. Did you know that there are over 10 traditional folk dance forms in Jamaica? The two most popular ones are the quadrille and maypole. There are five figures in the quadrille dance, and the fifth figure is done solely to mento music. Thank you for watching. On this channel, you will find more videos about our rich Jamaican culture. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to get future videos. 